Okay, you know what my last straw today was? <laughs> I swear to God, every time I start vlogging, I'm strutting out of my room. That was crazy today. Word. Back to my story. The garbage needs to go out because the garbage is looking like this. It's not fully whatever you want to call it. After I got home from the grocery store after practice, I was like, oh, tonight I'm so excited. I'm going to deep clean the whole apartment. Get home, unpack my groceries. I'm like, you know what? What if I went through the fridge? What if I just start there before I start dinner? Go to pull out garbage bags. <laughs> oh my God, you just fell in the sink. Okay, anyways, empty, empty to my roommates. I'm, I hate to say it, I know this is why you're scared of me. They say I'm intimidated, I'm like, I don't understand. How was I intimidated when you first met me? But I do stuff like this, so I'm like, oh, this is why. Who did that? Ramey Rebecca Cotta. The point that made me mad, I had just gone back to the grocery store. Just gotten back. I even made a special trip from Trader Joe's to Target to get paper towels, because we were out. And you know what? All morning I was like, I can't wait to clean the apartment. I need garbage bags to do that. Because I cannot put in the overflow trash already. So you know what? Guess we get to go back to the grocery store. Me. Well, that was my second to last straw. Someone commented on my reel I posted, like some track reel. They commented, but they don't want to be sexualized. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And you know, well, first of all, I never get comments from people I don't know on my Instagram posts. <laughs> if they do, they're normally creepy and I delete them. But this one, I was like, hmm, okay, okay. So I decided to clap back for the one time. I said, it's called a uniform and you're right. We don't like to be sexualized. We're just trying to compete at our highest level and we choose what we're most comfortable wearing. If you're more focused on what we're wearing than what we're doing, you're the problem, period. So, also the person above him commented, why do women of track have no clothes on? And to him, I had the same response. So actually that response on my Instagram was the last straw. And I'm gonna take this time to make a little announcement. If you're going to comment, anything that's you might think is a little edgy a little sexualized and i even if i know you do not do that this is not the place this is not the place do not make creepy comments do not make sexualized comments do not comment on my appearance in any sort of inappropriate way or anyone else in my videos we are not making this a kind of community. You know, I'm trying to make this a fun, safe, inclusive community, supportive, not, and you know who you are because there's at least one of you on this page that's been doing that. And you might think, oh, it's nice. She likes that. I don't, I don't. So we're gonna stop that now while we're on this topic because we're never coming back to this topic again unless it gets out of hand. So stop it right now, compliments are fine, but you need to know where the line needs to be drawn on a compliment when it turns creepy or not a compliment someone would want to hear. Okay? Okay, let's roll. Go do the damn thing at the grocery store. <laughs> Angry grocery haul. Lemon scented tall kitchen grocery. Nope. Garbage bags. Then if I was gonna make the trek all the way to the grocery store, I might as well have gotten these. So I went and bought myself a little treat. <laughs> a little charcuterie board. One for tonight, one for another time. This one has some like, I think it's the pepperoni gut on the cheese. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I will clean inside the first. Let's pop these balloons together. To my neighbors, and anyone that lives in this building, I'm so sorry. Ow! It's hurting 
my ankles is snapping on my feet. My ears are kind of ringing too. Hold on. I got my scissors instead because that was like, ow. That's a bit quieter. an event tomorrow that I have to wear business casual for. So business casual, no jeans. So cue the fashion show for me trying to figure out what to wear. Option one. I kinda like it. But like these wide leg pants. It's giving librarian. This is what I'm gonna wear. It's like, like 7 a.m. tomorrow. It's a little jacket so I'll wear inside. And then, this is the outfit inside. Now, like eight o'clock, and I've already practiced, lifted. After that, I went and had, the team had dinner. We even got ice cream after, which I still have yet to finish. And then, I come home, came home to shower before going back to the guy's place because we're going to play Catan. <laughs> That's where we're headed. It's not like bold, like light. Oh! Ooh! Wait, I just want to last place. Catan is exhausting, and I suck at it. But I left early because I need to go to bed, because I have to get up for my event at 7 a.m. tomorrow. But first I have to relace my shoes. I clean them. You know how clean they look now. Make sure on the flippy flip. Look at you guys. At 5.15 in the morning, I managed to make a latte. <laughs> at least I think that's a latte. No. It's been a long time since I talked to you guys last. I went to the event. It was really good. It was on um, student athletes, like supporting student athletes' mental health and suicide prevention. And it was like a breakfast with like this foundation CU has called Buffs for Life. I had practice, but it was just like a light day. So I just biked for 20 minutes. And I had treatment for about 45 minutes. I went to Warby Parker. This is actually so I thought that my lens was coming out because like the other day I took them off and I noticed that like the lens on this side was like peeking out of the frame. Uh, took them in and she goes, no, nothing's wrong with it. I was like, oh, because like the lens was coming out. She's like, no, it's because like that's a thicker frame on the left side because your prescription is different on the left and the right, which I knew that they were different. And then she was like, oh, like, no, she's like, the frame is thicker. Or the lens is thicker than the frame on the left side. And I was like, okay, word, word. So she like cleaned them and made sure they were gonna come out and then gave them back to me. And that was it. So I didn't even need to go. They were fine. I don't know how, I haven't noticed that. I've had these glasses since January. It's now May. Never realized it. Never realized it until the other day. So that was kind of embarrassing. And I came home, had lunch. And now I'm gonna go tan up on the roof, finish my book, start a new one, and then by the time it's dinner time, after dinner, I'm gonna start my little paint by numbers that Kata got me for my birthday. And the newest part of Bridgerton just came out. So I'm probably gonna watch Bridgerton while I paint. Mm -hmm. 